What's up, YouTube? My name is Mr. Kyle Cohen. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and my YouTube channel. Today, I am sharing 10 of my absolute favorite go-to activities when it comes to distance learning. Now, these aren't your typical types of educational activities. These are more of your go-to community builders, energizers, fillers that I love to use in my classroom with my students. These activities I have used in the spring and over the course of the summer as I have worked with different students. They are all super engaging and fun, and they're just awesome for building relationships, for social emotional learning, and for filling any sort of extra time that you have with your students. Now, typically as we embark on back to school season, different activities would fill the first week of school that are solely focused on community building and relationship building. Now, since so many of us will be starting our school years off virtually, I thought it would be the perfect time to share 10 of my favorite go-to community builders, energizers, as we embark on the upcoming school year. If you are looking for engaging, fun activities to kickstart your school year, let's get into it. Up first, we have bingo. Now, bingo is one of my favorite activities to play with my students, both in person and online. I'm not really sure why bingo has become this timeless activity, but for some reason, my students absolutely love it, so I'm giving the people what they want. You will see right here that I have a virtual bingo game. It is called My Free Bingo Cards. I will go ahead and link this down in the description, as well as all of the other different websites and activities that I'm talking about in this video. Right here, I have the one through 75 bingo card. This is your traditional one. There are also all of these other options, which you will see over here. You can also generate your own bingo card. There's different occasions and things like that. I'm able to click this link right here and send my students their individual cards. I'm also able to hit out individual links right here, where I'm able to send out these individual bingo cards to 30 different students. Students are able to access these from their own computer. Typically what I do is over Google Meet or Zoom, I will send these links directly in the chat to a student. So for example, this first link right here, I will just directly chat to a student. Usually I just copy and paste these and in five minutes I can get everyone their board. Then what I do is I hit call game and it has an already generated call right here. So 069 will be the first one. Then I will call B3 and so on as students keep track on their bingo boards. They have had a blast playing bingo. Typically we end a game and someone is ready to play the next one. It's an awesome way to engage your students and fill some time while building community. Up next, we have escape rooms. And escape rooms, again, are something I love to do in the classroom with my students. So through a simple Google search, I just looked up virtual escape rooms for kids, and I found a link that has all different kinds of escape rooms. One of my favorites is this Jumanji one, Escape to Camp. It is all through Google Forms. Typically what I do is I pull this up on my computer and share my screen with my students, whether that's in Google Meet or Zoom. I'm sharing my screen. We will read out the questions. I'll maybe have different students take turns reading. We'll put in the answer. They can vote in the chat what they think the answer is, and we can try to make it to the end of the escape room. Students have a blast engaging with these escape rooms together. It is so much fun to watch them communicate and work together as they try to crack the code to the different escape rooms. One of my next favorite activities for engagement with students is Kahoot. And Kahoot has been something that I've been using for years in my classroom. I typically love playing Kahoot hoop games when it comes to review, especially for different math assessments. But I have found that Kahoot has been an awesome engagement tool when it comes to virtual learning and especially just finding a way to build fun and community in the online setting. So I'm in my Kahoot account right here on the side. You'll see different games that I have created in the past. But what I have recently discovered, no pun intended, is that there is a discover tab right here where you are able to play Kahoot games that are already created. So one of my favorite activities for students is back to school. So I might just type in back to school here and there are all different types of games that different teachers have already created. If you want to create your own Kahoot game, that works too. How this works is students will be able to pull up the game on their phone by entering a different game pin. They will be able to compete against each other to try to solve the most questions correct. It is an awesome engagement tool. Students get so into the competition and it's so much fun to have. One of my next 
favorites is an app called Quizzes. Now, Quizzes is very similar to Kahoot, but it just has a lot of variety when it comes to already generated quizzes. And I don't know about you, but if I don't have to make something, it's a great day for me. Quizzes is one where you are able to search different topics. So maybe you just want to do one on Disney because who doesn't love Disney? So you are able to look at all of these different already made quizzes that you can provide your students. Let's say we want to do this one right here. All I have to do is click play live. I love this classic mode. You can also put students in teams if you want to use different breakout room features in whatever you're using. You will then click on continue. Students then on their devices just go to joinmyquiz.com and enter the game code. Again, very similar to Kahoot. Students will compete against each other in a way that is super engaging and fun for them. They will try to see who can answer the most questions correct. All you are doing on your device is facilitating the different questions. I also just enjoy narrating the questions for different students who might have trouble with certain words on the quiz. Students love this one. I hope you give it a try. One of my next favorite activities for distance learning has been scavenger hunts. And again, I don't know what it is about scavenger hunts, but students get so into it. They get so invested in competing in the fun of competition. So scavenger hunts are one where I generate a list of items that students are going to find, whether that's a hat, whether that is a fork, whether that is their favorite piece of clothing, whether that is their pet, a stuffed animal. The list goes on and on. The opportunities are endless. So once I have my list generated, all I do is sit back. I go over some rules and expectations such as don't destroy the place where you live. Don't disrupt the other humans around you. If I hear someone tell you to be quiet, you automatically lose points for that round. Things that probably need to be voiced over before starting. And then I just go for it. I will say, go ahead and find a hat. Students then go as fast as they can to find a hat. Whoever finds it first earns a point. I don't even really keep score because they just have so much fun doing it. And for me as their teacher, it is some great content to watch and it is very entertaining. Up next is a classic game that used to be called Hangman. Now, I obviously find the word hangman in this activity to be extremely problematic for a wide variety of reasons. So for the purposes of my classroom and hopefully all future classrooms, we call it fill in the blank. You will see in the top right hand corner of my Google Drive, I click on the little dots and scroll down to where you see Jamboard. Go ahead and click on Jamboard. Jamboard is an awesome virtual whiteboard that you can share out with your students. Click the plus in the bottom right hand corner to pull up a new board. At this time, you will be able to see just a blank virtual whiteboard. There are different pens and tools and resources on the left-hand side. I just click the pen tool, and the premise of fill in the blank is you need to think of a word that students will guess letters to fill in the blank. Instead of then drawing a man who is, you know, being hung for lack of a better term, I like to just draw a house or a city or a landscape, whatever your artistic self is feeling. I have negative three artistic ability points, so I just go ahead and draw a house or something really simple, and students can then guess letters. If they get it right, they get the letter put on the line. If they get it wrong, I draw a different part of the house. Go ahead and click the share tool in the upper right hand corner to send it out to your students students before you get started. I usually find it easiest to send the link of the Jamboard in our Zoom meeting or our Google Meet, whatever is easiest for you. Another one of my favorite activities for time fillers and community builders is Name That Tune. Name That Tune is an awesome game for students that really gets them working together, especially if you assign them teams. Something that I love to do is I love to put students in different groups, whether that's in breakout rooms or just all together. And I love to have students in teams so that they can work collaboratively, whether that is through the chat feature or just through talking with one another to come up with what song I am asking them to come up with. So if you are using a service like Zoom or Google Meet, you have an option to share your screen. But you will also see that right over here, there is an option to share your computer sound. When you share your computer sound, it makes it so the actual music coming through is not muffled. So typically what I will do is I will play a 10 second, five second little snippet of a song. I will have them talk with their partner, chat directly with their partner to try to come up with what that song is. After about 30 seconds, I'll look for a show of hands if they want to take a guess of what the song is that I played. 
in that way, students will be able to have someone to kind of lean on, to communicate with, to collaborate with. It is also just really hilarious hearing the different songs that students think you're playing when you're playing something completely different. Up next for you, I've got Pictionary, which is one of my favorite activities to play with students in person. But Pictionary is also super fun to be playing with students through distance learning. Jamboard would be really effective when playing Pictionary, so if that is an awesome tool for you, go ahead and use it. But I have also found that the digital whiteboard in Zoom is also great. So all you have to do is within your Zoom meeting, click on share screen. You will then just select whiteboard and click share and now you have a virtual whiteboard that every participant in your meeting can see you can go ahead and just draw something for your students if they have an idea on what you are drawing they can go ahead and raise their hand if they get it right they can go next by annotating here on the screen they can compete in partners they can compete by themselves it's an awesome time filler and a great way for you to show off your art skills or if you're like me your lack of art skills. Another one of my go-tos, whether we are in person or in distance learning, is Jeopardy. And again, I love making Jeopardy boards for review games, but when I want to just fill some time, I sometimes don't want to go through the extent of actually creating a Jeopardy board. So if you go to JeopardyLabs.com, you can click Find a Jeopardy board, and there are over 2 million of them for probably anything you ever wanted a Jeopardy board for. So you can go ahead and click on your Jeopardy board here. Let's try Nature. And you want to go ahead and click this Nature Jeopardy board. You can have students compete in teams through Google Meets or Zoom. Students can even pick a team name and you can type it out right here. And um, students love competing in Jeopardy against one another. Jeopardy is again one of those timeless activities that students just tend to love. Last but certainly not least is Freeze Dance. And if we are in some sort of distance learning capacity, I love providing students an opportunity to actually get up to move and to just be silly. So again, like I showed you before on Zoom, I will share the sound on my screen, I will play about 20 seconds of a song, and then I will pause it. If students freeze, they are still in. If they do not freeze, if they're still moving after the song is played, you can call them out. You can also just keep playing. It provides a nice little brain break for students, it gets them up and moving and just laughing with one another, which is what this is all about. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I had such a blast sharing some of my favorite go-to energizers, community builders, and fun activities that I use with my students. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give this video a like. Leave a comment down below of your favorite activities that you have found over the course of distance learning, virtual learning. What have you found to be effective for students in terms of engagement and fun? Again, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that subscription box so you do not miss any of my future videos. I so appreciate you being here. I hope that these activities bring you and your students joy as we embark on the upcoming school year, and I will see you in the next one.